What is memory pool? Memory pool is a place where your verified transactions are waiting for its turn to get included in a block by a miner. So let's create a dictionary that can be shared between different processes. So copy this line and give it a name as memory pool. Mempool and then share this dictionary in our front end so that when a user will create a transaction that will be signed and verified and then it will be included in the memory pool and from that memory pool our blockchain class will read the data which is the miner and then it will include those transactions in the block so let's pass this in the blockchain as well and in the init function receive this memory pool and create self dot mempool self dot mempool equals to mempool we'll come back to this and now let's go back to our run dot pi module and create a global variable mempool global mempool and also receive this parameter here mempool and assign this value mempool equals to mempool let's give the name with different so change this to caps mempool and replace it with mempool save it this is the place where we will add the transactions in the memory pool but before we do that we need to make a couple of changes the first change we need to make is in the send.btc module so go to send.btc so we have not created the transaction id here so let's add the transaction id self dot tx object dot tx id equals to self dot tx object and call the id function from the transaction module save it and one last thing instead of returning the true flag here return the transaction object itself so copy this and save until this step we already know that our transaction has been signed and it has the transaction signature inside the transaction input so let's change this receive your transaction object here so do tx object and remove the message and also remove this colon remove this space as well and save it first check if your transaction is a valid transaction do if not tx object change the message to invalid transaction and second check for instance if is instance tx object comma tx if it is a transaction object so first import the transaction class here from blockchain dot backend dot core dot tx import tx save it so the next step is we need to verify the transaction so how do we verify so let's do for loop index transaction in enumerate tx object and we need to verify the transaction input because that's where the signatures are tx ins and do if not tx object dot verify dot input so that's the function we have defined inside the transaction class and it takes index as an input and script public key as an input script public key so how do we get this script public key if you remember we have the script public key function inside the send btc so we just need to pass the public address here and it will give us the script public key so we can call this function here 
so let's do it so call this function script public key equals to send coin dot script public key and pass your public address here which is from address save it and now we have this script public key and if there is any issue in the transaction verification so we should set the flag to false verified equals to false and by default this flag will be always true so let's set it to true here verified equals to true let's add a space here so let's understand what exactly we did here so there can be multiple transaction inputs so we need to ensure that all the transaction inputs are valid before we can add them in the memory pool for example if there are two transaction inputs the first transaction input is valid so it's okay but if there is an issue with the second transaction input and it will set the verified flag to y because then our whole transaction is invalid so we need to ensure that all the transaction inputs are valid before we add them in the memory pool so if everything is fine so check for this flag if verified mempool tx object dot tx id equals to tx object so add your transaction inside the memory pool and set the message to transaction transaction added in memory pool and save.